drop off. Great, we can use one car at a time. Um, I'm Serena Pontak. I'm a ninth grader at Philip. I'm Rosie. I'm a ninth grader at Harvard. And I'm Seth Ka. I'm a tenth grader at Philip. All right. So raise your hand if you're a parent. <laughs> Quite a lot of people. So imagine this: you're busy all the time, and you have a kid that has after school and extracurricular activities. So how are you supposed to drive this person, from your kid, from place to place if you don't have the time? Well. You might, you don't have to imagine this, it's actually a reality. <laughs> so here's your answer, drop off. A carpool app that facilitates parent-to-parent -parent coordination that organizes rides based off of specific needs in the community, optimizing efficiency and reducing logistical challenges. So our prototype um, includes functions such as a calendar, function which can help schedule rides and uh, set reminders for future carpools, a map function which can help input um, other parents' addresses and help you track your own child on their way to wherever they need to go, um, a chat function um, in which a third party organizer can set up all the parents without actually being a part of all the conversations in that chat, um, a point credit system to create initiative between parents uh, trying to use that to make parents drive, want to drive other people's kids around, um, a rate and review system, and also a um, background check and a way for you to input your own license and registration information. In our search to see if our product was marketable and, what, and, it, and if it was actually unique for it in our community, we had to define our ideal platform. For us, that's a busy parent who has kids that do a lot of extracurricular activities like sports, clubs, or other events. Kids of this parent would likely <laughs> kids of this parent would likely be between the ages of seven and sixteen because that's the age where kids are involved in activities and can't drop themselves to and from. So uh, in our customer development, we interviewed many different people, um, and we found that carpool uh, management is a real issue in the community. And between um, interviewing coaches, parents, and even other students, we found that these people would really benefit from all from our app and they would be really interested in seeing it through towards the end um, and using this we created our prototype which was previously, sh which was previously shown um, which contains some key features which were actually suggested by some of the parents. We are aware that we have many competitors in the, doing the same thing that we are. A few are Uber and Nannies. We are better than Uber because Uber is known to be unsafe, unreliable, and um, and not on time or on. Uh, sorry. Um, also, many parents do not trust their not trust their kids in any group with a stranger or someone. Is, there's a background check not done. Very good. Nannies, any nanny with a car can drop a kid to and from school, but it's a waste of their time and a waste of your money. <laughs> so try say. So since we're selling to the organizations rather than the families themselves, um, we are starting our base app pricing from around $2,000 to $5,000. If personalization for our app is wanted, the price will generally go up from there, and there will be a monthly fee um, afterwards for app maintenance, and then depending on um, how many users are on the app, um, there we will have a tiered level program. Our first marketing strategy would just be for the three of us to spread through word of mouth to our connections in the Baltimore area. And so if we spread to social media apps, other sites, and get into organizations that can help us um, implement it in their own communities and also spread it to other organizations. Um, so social impact not only does drop off uh, make carpool less stressful, but it also creates new social circles for kids, allows them to make new friends, allows parents to stay connected within the community, and of course it reduces carbon emissions. So our Jewish value is Alti Ferocious and Hatsi which means do not separate yourself from the community. Um, Drop-off embodies this value because not only does it, as Seth said, not only does it connect um, parents, but it also connects the children themselves, creating a close-knit community that would really help further our impact in this world. And then moving forwards, 
uh, we'll finalize the product development uh, by setting up a timeline and specific goals to accomplish. We'll promote and optimize ads based off of specific clientele and target them with those ads. And then we'll build a sales pipeline of the clientele that we're targeting. Uh, thank you, and we look forward to working with unsafe and unreliable uh, in Uber, uh, what precautions would you be taking to, like, um, as a parent, to take their our biggest commodity, to put it in business, but the most important thing in our lives, how are you going to, like, protect that? So, um, in our app, uh, it will really only be with parents who know. So let's say your child is on a sports team or in, like, a theater program, um, the organizer, let's say they get this app, they only put the parents of that one group on this app. So the parents, everyone knows one another, and the parents can chat out like, hey, I need some help um, picking up my kid or dropping them off on this night at this time. Um, so you really only will be putting your child in a car with someone that you know, and then if you add that parent to like one of your contacts in our app, you'll be able to see their license and registration if they choose to put that in. So it's sort of like um, your competition in a way is like a group attack. Right. Yeah, like you cool. Yeah. I like that. So it's sort of uh, his question. Um, you know, Bill would be with the groups they know. By the way, I thought it was obviously wonderful. What a great idea. Uh, can you do you have the model set up so you can be part of multiple groups? Say my kids are on different sports teams and things like that. So each group is going to be unique to whatever that. Yes. Yeah, so there's like, you can join like multiple circles or groups, like your son's on a basketball team and your daughter has dance. You can click on this one for your son to get a ride to practice that night and click on this one so your daughter can go to a rehearsal the next night. Or So you can have multiple groups and there's, no, there's not really a limit. Can I go back to the revenue? Did I hear you say it's going to cost five to seven thousand dollars for an organization? Two thousand to five thousand for taking into account like all the app development. But you're charging, but like the little league who wants to do this, how much are they going to pay? Um, it depends on if they want to do a personalized model, and we can always figure out like, a monthly plan. For little league, since it really only is a couple months out of the year, we would likely develop a personalized plan for them. But if an organization, let's say like a school, wants to get this app and then they can implement all their sports teams onto it, like middle school, lower school, high school, like all of these sports teams would be a part of this app separately. Um, it would cost you $2,000. So I just, um, yeah, to share what David said, I, I wish this app had been around when my kids were <laughs> little. My youngest is now 16. Um, so let's say cause you mentioned like a dance class. So I'm just going to throw out like, you know, Racers Town, Karen Sack dance. Um, what is in it for them to get to purchase this app for their dancers? So um, I actually am a dancer, so I've experienced this a lot where someone, if they, someone misses a rehearsal, they're out of the performance. 100% they are understudied or they have to be out. So with this, it helps students create higher attendance. And with one of the coaches that I interviewed, he was saying how even if someone misses like one basketball practice, that will mess up, that will put them on the bench. So it's really also in it for like the students, but the organization just gets higher attendance and likely like a better overall show. Like obviously if you go to basketball practice more, you're gonna become a better basketball player. So, or if you go to dance class more, you're gonna become a better dancer, which would make the company look better and cleaner to the overall world. That was a great answer. Yeah, one, one final question. Did, did you look at a revenue model where the parents would pay a small monthly amount or the advertising model? Yeah, but it was a bigger profit margin than when uh, the whole organization would pay for it because there's more people in the organization, meaning more users. And also a problem with that is that 
we need enough parents to buy it for it to be official, because if only a few parents actually invested in it, then it would be enough for it to actually be Awesome. Thank you, guys.